So new year, new me, new EDC. Let's look at what I carry on a daily basis today. Stick around. Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And okay, my EDC really isn't different from last year. By the way, EDC means everyday carry in case you were unaware. Spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. Austin. But since I've never gone over mine and it seems like many people are talking about theirs, I figured I'd throw mine into the mix. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I carry on my actual person, but I'm also gonna throw in some things that I carry with me like in my car. I'll also make sure to include links in the description to some of the items that I include in case you want to add any of them to your ADC. Now if you're new to my channel, I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Again, my name is Robert. Here I talk about everything to do with men's lifestyle, whether it's fashion, fragrances, grooming, whiskey, cigars, really anything I feel encompasses being a man in today's age. I invite you to subscribe and engage in the comments down below. And to my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for your continued support. And with that, let's jump into it. The first item on my list is glasses. Now I have prescription glasses on pretty much every day and I don't necessarily need them, but I do get benefit from using them. I don't have really blurry vision without them, but it does help to take my vision from 1080p to like 4K. So it just makes things look a lot clearer. But in addition to that, wearing frames, whether it's shades or seeing glasses, helps to give your uh, face some framing and some symmetry. And of course, symmetry helps to make you look more attractive. So even if you don't necessarily need prescription glasses, you could consider getting some frames with some clear lenses for the reason I just mentioned. And they don't need to cost you an arm and a leg either. I have a few different glasses that I wear, none of which are really expensive. One I picked up from my optometrist, I think it's Timberland brand. These and another pair are from a, a company called uh, Glassy Eyewear. Each of them has cost me about a hundred bucks or less. If you're interested in picking some up, I'll make sure to link them down below. The second item is a watch. Now I wear a watch pretty much every single day. I have a few different brands that I rotate through, none of which are really expensive. The ones that I primarily rotate through are this Seiko and a couple of my Meister ambassadors. I've actually worked up a review on uh, some of my Meister watches. I'll make sure to link those down below. Now I'll switch between my watches, really just depending on what I'm wearing. Some are more casual, while other watches I use on more dressier occasions. I love watches and I really don't mind wearing fashion brands. To me, the bottom line is, if I like how it looks, I'll wear it. The third item is my wallet. Now the wallet that I use, I picked up a few years ago and I love this thing. It's a slim RFID blocking wallet from Radix One based out here in Los Angeles. It has two metal scales wrapped with a silicone band. It holds a few of my cards and my ID and I actually switched to this one from a old uh, slim leather case that I used to use mainly because the silicone band allows me to carry some cash along with the cards. Now, I don't typically carry a lot of cash but I do like to have anywhere from 20 to $50 on hand because you never really know when you might actually need it. I really do love this wallet and its simple design and that RFID blocking technology is a definite plus. Now, the fourth item is my wedding ring. Now, of course, since I'm married, I have my wedding ring on every single day. Now, this is a ring that I purchased from my jeweler in the jewelry district in downtown LA. It's made of cobalt, which is a pretty awesome metal. Cobalt, in case you're unaware, is actually harder than platinum while being less dense. It's lightweight, scratch and corrosion resistant, and it's hypoallergenic. Now, this ring has a simple design, it has a brush finish with polished edges, and the inside is nice and smooth. It's extremely comfortable and masculine, which is exactly what I wanted for my wedding band. Now, the fifth item is a bracelet. Now, most days, really no matter what I'm wearing, I usually have a bracelet on. I rotate between a few different ones, from beaded like this one, to stainless steel. One of my favorite ones has been this black and silver braided bracelet that I picked up from Aldo a few months ago. It's extremely comfortable, easy to put on, and it goes well with most of my watches. I usually stick to one bracelet though. I used to stack bracelets a few years back, but lately I've gone to a more minimal approach and the one bracelet is something I just prefer. Now the sixth item is a pocket knife. Now I think every man should carry a pocket knife. Of course, before adding one to your EDC, make sure you check with your local laws. Now this one that I carry is from Kershaw and I believe it's their brawler model. I just love the all black matte finish on it. 
This knife is really cool. It allows you to move the clip around so that you can do left-handed or right-handed and you can switch between tip up or tip down. Just the tip. Which by the way, I'm a tip up guy. It's small and lightweight. And with the tip up option, it's easy to pull out and flip out that blade. Whether you carry a knife for defense or just as a tool to open boxes or to cut something, a pocket knife is definitely a necessity. The seventh item in my everyday carry is of course a key. In LA, you pretty much need to have a car in order to get around, so I have my key on me pretty much every day. As you can tell, I don't drive anything fancy, but I love my Ford Explorer. Being that I have a wife, kids, dogs, and I love being outdoors and being active, the Ford Explorer is a perfect size for me and my family. And speaking of my car, let's jump into some of the things that are available while I'm driving. Now the eighth item is lip balm. Now no woman wants to kiss a man with dry chapped lips. At least I know my wife doesn't want to kiss me with my lips like that, so I make sure to keep them moisturized with some lip balm. Now I've tried a few different brands, but lately my favorite has been Burt's Bees. I used to use chapstick, but I read somewhere that chapstick actually has an ingredient that also dries your lips out, so it's meant to kind of keep you using the product. Whereas Burt's Bees, from what I found, is more natural, and it does a very good job of keeping my lips moisturized. The ninth item on my list is wireless earbuds. Now, whether you're an Apple guy or an Android Samsung guy like me, a pair of wireless earbuds is extremely handy. Whether for the gym or just for general use, wireless earbuds are the perfect way to get immersive sound without getting tangled up in wires and cables. These Samsung buds that I got recently are amazing. They have great sound, fit perfectly in my ear, and charge easily in the case. Now I hear very good things about the Apple AirPods as well. And whichever ones you prefer, wireless earbuds are something I carry and use on a daily basis. Now the 10th item is a Tide to go stick. Now you never know when you might have an accident and stain your clothes. Whether you drop some food at lunch or maybe you spilled some coffee and you're driving to work, a Tide stick will help manage that stain. Now it doesn't necessarily completely remove the stain, but in my experience, it does help to minimize the appearance of it and helps to minimize the chance of it becoming a permanent stain. The 11th item is a flashlight. This is an item that I'll carry in my car, sometimes also in my backpack. This is a flashlight that I picked up a few years ago and I really love this thing. This is the A1S LED flashlight from WowTech. It has a really bright light with 1150 lumens and it offers different levels of brightness along with a strobe function and an SOS function. It's lightweight, waterproof, and the best part is it has a very strong rechargeable battery included. It has great power for its small size and truly comes in handy when you need a light. And the last item on my list is a battery pack. Now, this is something I'll carry more in my backpack if I'm gonna be out for an extended period of time. If I'm traveling, heading to a beach or a park or to Disneyland, I make sure I have a battery pack in my backpack. Now, this particular battery pack can actually charge your phone wirelessly eliminating the tangled messes you get from cables. It has enough juice to charge my Note 9 at least four times and can actually charge multiple devices at the same time. These can be a lifesaver with our phones being used so much on a daily basis. It's good peace of mind knowing that you'll never run out of juice. So that wraps up what I carry on a daily basis, but I'm interested in hearing from you. Do you carry any of these items? Are there others you suggest? Put those in the comments down below. You know, I love to hear from you guys. Now, as always, if you found value in this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and it helps the channel to grow. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you catch all future videos. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Till the next time, fellas.